welcome back to another video um i know i noticed in the last video i had like my twist was sticking out that's the that's the reason that i wear like when y'all see me with this hat this is just my favorite hat at the moment when i had this hat on it's because i twisted my hair and if i don't have the hat on my twist just be everywhere because i just be twisting not even twisting right so i put the hat on so Y'all won't get distracted. So y'all won't be distracted with how my hair look. But I noticed in the last videos that I just uploaded that my, my twist was like sticking out the side. And I'm just like, I still uploaded it though. Cause it's more about what I'm saying than how I look. But I know looking well presented and look, it, it matters. It matters. So I fixed it up for y'all. No more little tweaks of twists just flowing out the back of this hat. <laughs> Uh, where are we? Where are we? We are in First Timothy. First Timothy chapter four, and we're gonna read verse twelve and verse sixteen. And this is something that I talked about on my one of my Instagram pages one time when I was telling them how you know I was being attacked. <laughs> it seems like I'm always under attack, doesn't it? But this is one of the things. I'm 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 young, right? I'm 24 years old, and what the enemy likes to do is make it seem as though I'm too young to go so hard for Jesus or like I'm too young to be really committed. Like I'm too young not to be lukewarm or I'm too young to, you know, just like, oh, I still got life to live. Like all the young people are out there living their life, but you over here taking God serious. Like, yeah. I'd be going through that kind of thing, but I have to remind myself daily. And I remember when I came across this scripture, I was like, this is it. I was like, this is it. Let nobody, <laughs> I was like, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith and in purity. And I'm like, okay, this is it. This, this is the scripture that I needed because God is telling me, even though I'm young, I still can be an example. I, I still can be faithful. I still can uh, live a pure life. I still can, you know, like this is the thing that I am called to do at this point in time, in this generation, this time of history as a young female, you get what I'm saying? And so that was just like, like I'm telling y'all, man, the word of God, it's like the word of God has every, everything that the enemy could come at you with the word of the God, the word of the God, <laughs> the word of God has something that you could just be like, pew. Like you too young to do this. You too young to why why are you saying no like like no sex before marriage? Like are you kidding me? Like that that's crazy. Like why would I do such a thing? Like I can't live without this stuff. This is what this is how this is how the generation is moving and all of these lies. And it's just like you are a liar. <laughs> like you are a liar. You're literally deceiving me and my generation to make us think that we have all of this time and we could just be doing all of this stuff and not obeying God. But no, God says, let no man despise thy youth, but be an example to the believers in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith and in purity. Verse 16 says, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So it's not only about me. And that's why I be having to get out of my own head. Like when the Lord is telling me, no, you, you have to, this, this is what you're called to do. So it's like, get out of your own head, get out of your own space about, um, what, what, you know, what you think your life should, this is what I've called you to do. So it's like, this is me really being obedient. <clears throat> this is me being obedient. Um, and yeah, bro, just, 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 it, we as a young and I'm trying to think what should I title this video because I really want it to go to the younger people though like like people who was born in like like the 25s and down like people who was born 1998 99 2000 and like you know that kind of that new generation that that new generation like I really want this video to hit some of these people um to just be encouraged like don't yes we young yes there our generation is doing a lot of stuff like there's a lot of stuff out there for us to do but this is what god is calling us to do 
So don't let the enemy, don't let nobody try to despise you for being young and making you think you can't do the work of the Lord or you, you got to be 30, 40, 50, 60 before you start taking the Lord serious. It's like, no, you can take the Lord serious now. And at my age, I wish I would have took... <laughs> I would have, because I don't regret anything. I know God's timing is his timing, but I would have submitted my life to the Lord as soon as I had knowledge of whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have been 10 going hard for Jesus if if that was what he asked me to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, <laughs> no, no, no. And I'm actually, I'm just grateful to be in this time, in this, in this generation, um, just doing just in the body of Christ, just, just like trying to do the things of the Lord to my best of, best of my ability, trying to, to just let go and just, you know, just trust the Lord fully. Like I, I, I'm just grateful to be in it with God because God is with us and yeah, he's with me. He's with us. He's with you. He's with me and he, he's not going to fail. He won't fail us. He's never failed. He, the failure ain't even in his, like, that's, we serve a God who is just perfect. We serve a perfect God. We we serve an on-time God, like a, ah, uh, the man is just, our father is just our father. Man, he's super good. He's super good. So, yeah, this message didn't have to be that long, but I did want to just encourage on the, 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 the younger people of my generation that's just like me um, to just keep going hard for God, um, and anytime the enemy comes at you with that, man, you young, man, you young, like you're young, like look at everybody else, like you're young, why? You're too young to pursue Jesus, be like, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation and charity and spirit and faith. Now let's read the NLT version of it. Don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say and the way you live and your love, your faith and your purity. Until I get there, focus on reading the scriptures to the church, encouraging the believers and teaching them. Verse 16, keep a close watch on how you live and on your teaching. Stay true to what is right for the sake of your own salvation and the salvation of those who hear you. So it's also important for us to be aware of what we are saying, going to the Lord, studying the scriptures and making sure like, okay, this is true. This is what God is saying. This is what he wants us to know. Like, we have to be on it as believers. We can't just be out here saying anything, creating all kind of false doctrines to fit what we want to say. No, we have to say what the Lord is telling us to say. We have to say what the scriptures say. We have to let the Holy Spirit, even if it's uncomfortable. Some some things that I'm going to have to talk about is uncomfortable. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. It's going to ruffle some feathers. It's going to make people look at me different, but it's the word. Of, it's the truth, bro. Like, it's the truth. What What do y'all want me to do? I'm not. I know the truth. I'm not going to feed y'all no more lies ever, 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 ever. So, yeah, um, just stay encouraged um, as young people. And, yeah, just keep our eyes on God. And don't let the, don't, don't let the devil um, torment you with that. You too young to do this. You too young to do that. You got more life or... Life is not all about Jesus. Like, <laughs> it actually very much is. That's the reason we're here. We wouldn't be here without God. God is the reason that we even get to enjoy life. We even get to wake up and feel the breeze and <laughs> get rain and experience seasons and, like, all of that stuff, bro. Like, the sunrise, the moon go, the dark, the light. Like, he is the creator of all things. He's the creator of all things. So, yeah, let's just stay encouraged. Young people, young people, young people. I'm going to have to create a title for this video. The Young Generation. Something that's going to... Because this, this, these, us, us youngins in this time, man. God, this the I read something last night that said, this is the generation of them that seek me. And I truly believe that. Like, this is the generation that is going to seek the Lord's face for real. Like, no... We don't want to play around. We don't want to play. No, we want God. We want the hand of God. We want the living God. We don't want to be lukewarm. We want Jesus for real. And so, yeah, just stay encouraged. Let no man despise your youth. Um, continue to be example, like the Lord says. And, yeah, God bless y'all.